Hi there again. Once more, it's Martin Tyler and Alan Smith with you for this game, which, uh, well, we came to the ground, the weather looked OK, but we've been hit by snow flurries, and it's actually snowing as kickoff approaches. Yeah, it seems to be getting a bit heavier. It's if it starts covering up the lines and snow gathers on the ball, that's when the ref's got a decision to make. And the match for you today, Swansea City against West Ham United. Well, I just wonder how the home team are going to cope with this. Home advantage, yes, but when you look at the number of goals that they've conceded... Oh. No, I think the fans at times have been looking through the fingers, fearing the worst watching this team because they have conceded so many. This is Swansea City's team for you today. Lucas Fabianski plays in goal. Neil Taylor starts with Angel Rankel as the wide defenders. Jack Cork starts with Leon Britton in midfield. Fernando Llorente is the lone striker today. West Ham United's lineup is this. Adrian starts in goal. Winston Reid starts with James Collins in central defence. Mark Noble starts a midfielder in good form. And today it's just the one striker in the side. When Swansea City were playing at the old Vetch field and they're in the fourth tier of English football, you just couldn't have imagined that they'd have a home like this at the Liberty Stadium and they'd have a team like this. That's incredible, isn't it? We don't ever really talk about Swansea as potential relegation candidates. You look at the stadium, it's, it's all set up for top-class football. And they've had some good footballers in here. Kevin Friend, today's referee. Good forward play from them. Tries the through pass. Goes for it with a fist. Cleared the ball. And it's a corner now. For those who talk about a winter break, uh, it's not something that in England that anybody seems to have much appetite for happily. Um, we'll be thinking, well, this is the kind of weather where you might want to be sitting at home rather than sitting in the stadium. Yeah, I think it's worse for the fans, really. Number one, getting into the ground, and uh, and once you're there, sat there shivering. For the players, it's OK, you're running about and you're warm. Sheikou Kuyate. Mark Noble. Sheku Kuyate, now towards Payet. Well, this attack has got a bit... And here's the shot. It's missed, the chance. Payet. Doing well to keep the ball. Defender to it first. Britain. Good position. They've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now. And shoots! Credit for taking on the shot. Well, what a good chance that was for him. By his standards, that's the glaring miss. Sheikou Kuyate. Short passes, but they're keeping the ball. Wayne Routledge. 
good challenge by West Ham to get the ball back. Oh! Fine save he's made there. And he's not let the ball escape his grasp. And it's going to be a, a throw here. Here's a chance to attack. A nice move to get away from the defence. Another shot! Good stop by the goalkeeper. Looking to play his teammate through. Britain! They have taken the lead. I was just wondering whether the ball was going to go in with all the snow on it, but it did. Uh, across the line, despite the goalkeeper's, well, I was going to say best effort, not really his best effort. Well, no, he probably pointed to the fact that uh, the snow played a part there and maybe have a little bit of sympathy for him. That has opened the scoring, 1-0 here. Number seven, Leon Andre Ayew. Building steadily here, keeping possession. Comes in strongly. Britain. Looking good, this move. Routledge, gone for goal in spectacular style. Well, I was expecting him to be wheeling away in celebration there. Piece of interplay between the two. Not rushing it here. Moving from one side to the other. Oh! That's a good. He's got his shot off now. Didn't hit it cleanly at all. Let's check again on the goal from Leon Britton. Well, he's he's hit it with a little bit of swerve and it's just moving away from the keeper's grasp there. Kuyate. Andre Ayu now towards Payet. Still chance for something to happen because there's three added minutes. Routledge. Working hard just to see maybe a sight of goal. Oh, you've got to say he's using the... So it's 1-0 here as the half-time whistle goes. Well, this is the uh, second half now, and it's underway. Sheku Kuyate. Noble. Lanzini. Looking for an opening with some good control builder. They've coped with it well defensively. Well, it was easy on the eye, but in the end, pretty easy to defend against. Tackle here. The referee had a good look at that, decided it's just a throw after the tackle.
Rangel. Substitution now for West Ham United. Trying to find a way through here, probing away. And here's the shot. Now we have a corner to come via that deflection. Coming off the pitch, number 20, Andre Mew, to be replaced by number 9, Andy Carroll. It's a change that's got to be made now to try and pep up the attack, to try and get back on level terms. They bring on the extra striker. Yeah, this team has had its back to the wall for a while now and they do need a bit more momentum. Sure, it's a goal kick. We've reached the hour mark. Half an hour to go. Payette. Good forward play from them. Played into the middle. That's not a good cross at all, and easy to defend. Rangel. Jack Cork. But it's a passing game, and my word, they're passing it well here. Well, that looked promising, but he's been stopped. It's a good save, he got a touch to that. And that's gone behind, it'll be a corner for West Ham. That's the sort of corner that frustrates the coaches because they obviously had plans. The delivery wasn't good enough. Goalkeeper can get the ball here for his goal kick. Great goalkeeping by Lucas Fabianski, just refusing to be beaten. Oh, there's nothing like seeing a top class save like that. Just over a quarter of an hour left on my watch. Trying to switch on the attacking power in this situation. Defender to it first. Ah, oh, he's taken it away there with a very good tackle. Noble. Lanzini. West Ham United given the advantage. It's looking good, this move. Saw the goal and went for it. Saved by the goalkeeper at full stretch. West Ham United are given a corner. The substitute coming on to try and repair the damage now. Fine header, better save. Yeah, he couldn't have connected any better with the header, but uh, really good agility from that keeper. Well, if this ends up being a win for this goalkeeper's team, he'll be the hero because he's been most responsible with the saves he's made. Comes in with a tackle. There's good progress with this attack. And the cross coming in. Shots on here. Shot blocked here. Now, not long to go. 
And another goal would wrap it all up. to indicate three added minutes. Good strong tackle. And he's dispossessed. And that's the end of the match at 1-0. There are some real heroes out there for this team and they're all in the back line. Yeah, I mean, they threw themselves in front of shots, they did anything that they had to out there. Really brave performance from the defenders. When you've got a dodgy defence that the home team have, you've got to score, and they've scored plenty here. Yeah, you never quite know what's going to happen with this team because of that leaky defence, but today, those strikers certainly were at it.